What is going on guys? I am back. I know I've had like a couple days on and off here and there and I know I've not been consistent with uploads but I have a lot more time on my hands at the minute so I'm going to try to do sort of four a week. I am trying Monday, Wednesday, Friday and Saturday. It may vary but that's kind of the gist I'm going to go with. So we have a ton of methods today of course still doing the giveaways. We've got 400k coins to give away along with min priced Messi. So make sure to enter those. All you've got to do is Twitch, Instagram, Twitter and YouTube. Obviously follow me on all of those platforms. The links to the others are are in the description send me a screenshot on instagram and twitter and you will be entered in i know obviously we're coming to the end of the game so not many of you are as interested in the giveaway but it's free coins for you guys and if you're subscribed already it's an easy easy entry so without further ado let's get into the video so guys pretty simple setup for us today we're going to start off with of course the one we've put i mean it's probably the team we've had most in sort of marquee matchups overall this year so we're going to be looking at barcelona i think they've definitely i mean the only one i can think of that's possibly done as much as them is going to be real madrid because they're so often in these challenges which means we can so often make easy filters with them so as you can see nice price on those at least i reckon probably three and a half k maybe so 3k there, 2.4 for that Turan. Easy snipe, there you go. That's 600 coins profit before EA tax. Obviously a little bit less after, but definitely not something to complain about from such an easy first snipe. We've got these two at 3k here. That guy's gonna be a decent snipe as well. So anything under 2.7 and 2.7 is profit. At uh, 3k, the EA tax is gonna be 150 coins. So pretty golden, anything 2.8 and below two run there for 1.8k i mean we're just picking these up like nobody's business i wasn't actually expecting the method to be this good and kind of shocked uh hopefully the other methods can live up to the same standard but as you can see we're getting ridiculous amounts of them there so compare price clearly not a bad shout on this method we'll try a little bit of regular sniping it might appear that actually compare price is the way to go with this one let me just make sure everything is recording correctly we don't want any issues with that when we've got a banging filter there you go we're all good so i think that it's possible that the compare price obviously just bangs a little bit more than everything else i think the compare price is always easier and um, it, it gives you a little bit more time uh, and you kind of search quicker and um, it is just preference based as well i think because i haven't sniped as much lately obviously i think i'm probably going to be more of a compare price preference sort of thing but usually i do think i prefer regular sniping i think compare price is just kind of it's almost a lazy way of doing it really isn't it it's, it's the easy lazy way where you know you're not sure we might as well give it a little compare price so we're going to do a little bit more we'll go for one more player and then we'll move on to the next filter because i mean we picked up some pretty good snipes there i can't complain about the ones we've got so far and we don't want to spend too long on the singular filter so those there not really anything special nothing that would really make profit off 2.8 and 2.9 really just people bringing the market value down uh, hopefully we can find another one with a bit of a better price tag on it and then we can finally move on obviously if you guys are new make sure to subscribe of course we've just hit 4k which you guys have no idea how thankful i am for that like i've been wanting to progress on youtube so much over the last few years and you know it took me i, mean, I created this channel in 2014 we hit oh that was that was a shocker. That was a shocker. I need to stop speaking. We hit this. We we hit 2k at New Year's Day uh, this year. So New Year's Day this year we hit 2k. We're now seven months into the year and I've doubled my sub count. Bear in mind it took me like two or three years to get to the point where I was at 2k. Like that double in that time is absolutely insane. What I want to go for next FIFA is probably a little bit more insane. I want to kind. Of, I want to go for like. 30 40k like i do want to do really well next year so hopefully we can absolutely smash that as well we're going to move on to the next filter uh, before i get frustrated with this one we're going to be looking at spurs who had an absolute shocker recently in their games i know they've not done too well i mean in all fairness liverpool champions going up against city and getting absolutely demolished wasn't brilliant look but you know we, we move we've got we've, we've got a season of football ahead so they might do better i, I hope liverpool do come back on form because even though everyone hates them, I do enjoy seeing them actually do well for once. I don't really like seeing Man City do well because they're kind of like, they are just sort of the money club, aren't they really? They're not exactly a brilliant club. Um, 
other than that. So, uh, you know, it's a bit, of a, a bit of a sticky one. We're going to go for attackers. I feel like that's the best way to handle the Spurs filter because you've got realistically Bergerwin and Lucas are going to come up the most. And they're a little bit pricier than the other cards that you're going to be finding in this filter. I mean, if you look at that, 2.5 is... The, wow, what the hell? That's mental for an attack of Spurs. Do we go defender? I'm trying to think what the best way to handle this field would be because obviously the, the midfielder uh, kind of ruins it. Let's have a look. So, let's have a look. We'll do defender. We'll see how that works. If it doesn't work too well, we'll have a look at attacker. But the, the vast range of prices there did not appeal to me massively. Here is a little bit easier. We've got 1.3 there. So we can literally pick anything up under 1.3. It's a little bit more of a profit margin. 1.2... I think, yeah, so that's still profit, but not brilliant. We really want 1.1, to be honest. Um, that would be ideal. But as I was saying, guys, like absolutely, like the support, the, the, the subscriptions, everything has meant so much to me. It also means like next year I can put more into YouTube, knowing that I'm getting a lot out of it. Like not money wise, I don't mean it like that, but just in terms of like, I'm getting a lot of feedback from you guys. I'm getting subs. We've we've had a sponsor recently, so we are doing better than we've ever done before, and it's nice to see that the community we've built is growing quite well uh, and quite fast. Like I'm very happy to see that, um, and the way you guys have supported everything has just been insane. We're gonna go for Everton because they may be the better club for the filter, purely based on the results from Spurs. There, it doesn't look like there's too much coming up. Everton do have a lot lower price players but i feel like if we go mid price we could probably make a oh there you go so these guys aren't going too bad and um, but yeah as i was saying guys absolutely love the support obviously the content's not going to be as brilliant as it has been because there isn't much to do on fifa i'm hoping to maybe hit like 4.1 4.2k over the next coming weeks um and then push next fifa with like a decent start and um, obviously as i say 30k would be the goal next year if we can get past that you know, I'll be doing massive giveaways for the, the time around there. Uh, I'll be doing a massive giveaway at the start just to get you guys going. Um, with, I've got a monitor to give away. I've got some FIFA points to give away. So there's a lot there that I'm willing to sort of help you guys or give away to you guys. It's just we need, uh, I need to obviously get FIFA 21. Hopefully it's enjoyable. Hopefully they do keep FIFA points in. Um, the only reason I'm kind of averse to everyone else with the FIFA points argument is that if we get rid of FIFA points, I don't think EA will put as much effort into the game year on year. I think they will kind of bin it off, which is a bit crappy on their side, but you have to think like, this isn't a company known for how they treat their customers. Like we all know that EA isn't really massively respectful of the community. They don't listen to what people say. They don't listen to complaints. And then we're saying get rid of FIFA points, but if that happens, I do think they will really reduce the amount of time they spend on this game. And I don't think they're going to put in any sort of effort like they have before. Um, I mean, they're not putting a huge effort now, so I, I guess we're in a crap position as a community. I think that if YouTubers, you know, myself included, I put a silly amount of money into this game as it is, and I'm not a big YouTuber, but... There's a lot of YouTubers who, who do facilitate the idea that it is a good idea to spend money on packs. Like, you know, Castro has spent thousands, Bates has spent thousands. So I think we should probably look into them before going, right, get rid of FIFA points. Because if there weren't people doing those massive pack openings, I don't think kids would be as inclined because you wouldn't be seeing the results as much. Now, <coughs> that's not to say take pack openings off YouTube because that won't work. That was a very good slide. Taking pack opens off YouTube won't work, but definitely, I mean, an age restriction on packs would definitely be a, an improvement. I think that maybe just having it in a situation where it wasn't so easy to buy them as well would be good, but when you've got videos of like, I mean, you've got Chris MD did the video where he was like, all right, this is what happens when you spend a thousand, which I think is more informative than anything else because it shows you how little you're going to get back for your money so that's a good type of video but i think when castro and things like that they're buying thousands and thousands of packs guaranteeing themselves the best cards at that point i think it does give away an image to children because i know from the perspective of someone like when i was a kid i used to love watching fifa videos like i don't watch them as much now i like to create them but when i used to watch them like i definitely would have looked at you know a, a video where let's say reeve does a video and he packs a good player i'd be like oh yeah you know i'm gonna go buy some points i'd do it and every time i wouldn't get anyone good 
And I do think that it is partly that people are misinformed on like, you know, kids don't know as much about SBC accounts as maybe I do or most YouTubers do. Or kids don't know about, you know, the, the ways that you can make coins, which is why I try with this channel to produce and show that. But there definitely is situations where, where people aren't informed enough and, and they are led to buy packs under that sort of assumption. It's not great. I know that some of you guys might not care about my opinion on this. I'm just giving it out there to those of you who do. I'm not really gonna, I'm not signing petitions against FIFA points. I'm not signing them for it. Whatever happens, I mean, if FIFA points get rid of it, will probably help my channel. So I can't complain too much, but it's just a weird situation to be in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I know it's been a bit uh, here and there. I will obviously have a much better one coming over the coming days. I just wanted to get some content to you guys. Four filters, I'd say the Bayern uh, and the first one, the Barcelona, are much better than the Everton and Spurs. I think the Everton and the Spurs uh, are 50-50, depending on when you're doing it. I am doing it at sort of 2 o'clock, so it's not a massive time for FIFA. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like down below, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.